Letting Go of the Need to Control, posted on June 17th, 2011. The force in you that wants to control is the force that creates resistance to the movement of life. Imagine life to be a fast moving current of water and you are on this current sitting on a raft. All your efforts at control will only cause resistance to your movement, but when you just let go and relax, the current takes you swiftly across the scenery. You cannot enjoy the scenery as long as you are busy trying to control the raft. Sooner or later, you will realize that all attempts at control are futile. And in truth, it's best to let go and enjoy the ride instead of wasting your effort trying to control the uncontrollable. Your body is working on its own. A deeper intelligence runs your body. The blood circulation, the heartbeat, the digestion, the excretion, the recycling of the cells, it's all happening right at this moment and there is no control. Even the breathing is happening automatically. Of course, you can consciously try to control the breathing, but for how long and how efficiently? All illusions of control are just that, an illusion. Coming to the truth is about realizing that there is no control as far as the ego is concerned. The ego cannot determine how life will proceed. Of course, the ego can make predictions and make attempts at controlling the movement of life, but eventually these are just illusions, and the truth is that the ego can never dictate reality. Life has a movement, and it moves in totality. It cannot cater to the whims and fancies of an ego. Life cannot move the way the ego wants it to move. The ego lives in an illusion of control. The reason why the ego is based in fear is because it's living in an illusion of control. It imagines that it has a say in how life will move and unfold. But anyone who is willing to see reality with open eyes will notice that life has never moved according to the plans of the ego. Sometimes it might seem as if life is moving in accordance with what the ego wants, but this is like 0.1% of the total movement and merely a coincidence. The ego cannot dictate life because it's not strong enough or wise enough to determine how life should move. Look around and ask yourself, how much control do you really have on your life? If you have an illusion of control, it just means that you are putting in a lot of effort to maintain some part of your your reality, and mostly it's highly tiring and frustrating to do so. It's like trying to control your breath. You can do it, but it's highly tiring, frustrating, and futile in the end. Do you really enjoy this illusion of control, or would you rather prefer to let go and enjoy the movement of life the way it wants to move? Life is always moving towards your well-being. You have not been created so you can come forth and suffer. The very intent behind your creation was so life can express itself through you. Suffering arises only when you resist the expression of life in some way. Every living being has an inherent movement that is determined by the totality of everything that is. Everything has an inherent value and purpose. When you allow life to move through you without any resistance, it always takes you towards your natural expression. Your life becomes rooted in ease, abundance, and peace. It's the end of all drama and tension because all this is is just the domain of the ego. There is no drama when you just let life move freely through you. All your actions will be motivated from a place of wisdom rather than from a place of fear. This is the message I have for the ego. Give life back to life. Stop holding on to what is not yours to start with. The only reason you find life unfair is because you don't fit into life. You have no place in it. Let it be. Let life be. Let the body be. Let the mind be. Stop trying to control life. The peace beyond understanding comes forth when the ego completely surrenders to life and is willing to dissolve. The adage, not my will, but thy will be done, is simply the statement of a surrendered ego. Thy will is the heart's will or the life's will. It's inevitable, so why fight it?